transformers change the potential difference of electricity. There are two main types of transformer that are used in the national grid. These are step up and step down transformers. Each of them consists of two coils of wire around an iron core. In a step up transformer, the voltage is increased and the primary coil has fewer turns of the wire than the secondary coil. In a step down transformer, the voltage is decreased and the primary coil has more turns than the secondary coil. The way it works is by electromagnetic induction. The current passes into the primary coil which produces an alternating magnetic field in the iron core, and it only works with an AC current. The magnetic field is constantly changing direction 100 times per second if the frequency of the AC current is 50 Hz. This alternating magnetic field induces a potential difference across the secondary coil at the same frequency as the primary coil. Depending on whether it is a step up or step down transformer, the potential difference will be greater or lower across the secondary coil compared to the primary. There is a formula you can use to work out what the potential difference across the coils will be. The potential difference across the primary coil divided by the potential difference across the secondary coil equals the number of turns on the primary coil divided by the number of turns on the secondary coil. For example, a transformer has 100 turns on the primary coil and 2000 turns on the secondary. If the input potential difference is 500 volts, then the output potential difference can be calculated by rearranging the formula to give 10,000 volts. Transformers are almost 100% efficient, so we can assume that the power that goes into them also comes out. This gives us another handy formula, which is the current in the primary coil times the potential difference across it equals the current in the secondary coil times the potential difference across it. For example, a current of 2 amps is supplied to the primary coil of a transformer with a potential difference of 300 volts across it. The secondary coil has 15 amps flowing through it. By rearranging the equation, we can work out the potential difference across the secondary coil as being 40 volts. There is another type of transformer, called a switch mode transformer. These are the ones you get in your laptop and mobile phone chargers. They operate at very high frequencies between 50 and 200 kHz. They also use very little power when your laptop or mobile phone is not plugged in, which is good when you accidentally leave your charger in the socket. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked the video and if you want to see some more you can subscribe.